what they're asking us is they tell us that triangle ACB is congruent to triangle FED. And what they want us to do is determine what are the measures of x and y since we have congruent triangles. Remember, congruent triangles tell us that we have congruent parts. Every angle is equal to the other angle, corresponding angle, and every side measure is equal to the corresponding side measure. So this angle has to be equal to that angle, right? D is, is corresponding to B. D is corresponding to B. They're both in the last of our relationships and, set, or in our, in how we name our triangles. And since they are congruent, we know that D is equal to B. So therefore, I can simply just say Y equals 48 degrees. Because they're equal. Those are corresponding angles. And since our triangles are congruent, we know those angles are equal in measure. The next one is now we need to figure out what this angle is. Well, the problem is we don't know what that angle is, do we? However, we do know that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So what I can do is I can say 108 degrees plus 48 degrees plus the measure of angle A equals 180. Would everybody agree with that statement? Yep. It's a triangle. So we know they all add up to 180. We have two of the angles. But remember by the third angle theorem that we know that we can figure this out is going to be added up to 180. So therefore, now I just combine these two terms, which is going to be 156 degrees plus the measure of angle A equals 180 degrees. Now I subtract 156, subtract 156. Sam, you're writing this one down? Uh. So, man, it's done. so the measure of angle A is now going to equal 24, anybody? 24 degrees. So now we know what, oh wait, OK. So now we know what the measure of angle, we know what 24 degrees is. Is that, it's 2x minus y? Is that? OK. So now what we can do is we can write an equation. We know that 24 degrees is equivalent to 2x minus y. But there's a problem with that equation because we have two variables. And to solve an equation with two variables, you have to have two separate equations. But fortunately for us, we know that y equals 48. So I can rewrite 24 equals 2x minus 48. So now I'll add 48 to both sides. Therefore, that equals 72 equals 2x. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals 36. All right. And